Hello, Vinicius. Um, this is Arun Gupta calling from Jabali in Porto Alegre, Brazil. How are you? I'm fine. Wonderful. So a little cold. Yeah, I know. It's raining. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. That's right. So yeah, we have Vinicius from Global Code uh, with us. And um, so, what brings you to Jabali? Well, I'm giving a talk about uh, Java Enterprise Architectures. Uh, actually, it's the same talk that I gave in Java One, a Java One, and it's a pleasure to be here to Javali and also Fizzly giving this talk and present some project, cool projects. Great! So you are a Java E architect. I'm Java E architect, and we do a lot of consultants and also a lot of training and a lot of research the last over the last uh, ten years. Okay, and what do you use for Java E? Uh, nowadays, I'm using a lot of uh, Glassfish V2, and once we work in the expert group, JSF 2.0 expert group, we also uh, use Glassfish V3 to uh, build demos, test the things, and uh, try to collaborate with the specification. Oh, great. And I'm using a lot of NetBeans nowadays. Hmm. How do you like the NetBeans Glassfish integration? It's amazing, much, much better than others' integration before. So I think that is uh, getting better all the time. Okay. And w w so are you using Glassfish V2 in production today? We are using V2.1. We have an open source project called Supercrude, where people can go there, model JPA entities online, is a web software that generates uh, web software. <laughs> so oh, okay. you just model your entities there, you can choose different kinds of Java EE architectures using EJB or not, using Spring, using JBoxing, using both integrated, and you just click generate crude and you will get a zip file with everything that you need to open in NetBeans, choose the application server, click and run, and you have your uh, crude application, brand new crude application. Oh, wonderful. And so how is, it, how is Glassfish used in this? Well, uh, we just migrate from uh, another application server and it's much more easy to install, to manage. You have a very nice tool on the web, the admin tool to manage. It's easy to create data sources, uh, to manage your EJBs, to make redeployments and we don't use clustering, but uh, we know that uh, is another good uh, feature inside Glassfish 2.1. Nice, and do you want to say which application server did you migrate from? Yes, JBoss. Okay, <laughs> JBoss. Cool. That's we nice. Think, uh, uh, we think that uh, all the Brazilian community uh, was expect, were expecting much more from JBoss 5, and we are uh, seeing a lot of companies and developers just migrating to Glassfish because it's faster, it's more modular, and um, a faster head deployment, better integration with uh, NetBeans, uh, with Eclipse for uh, Eclipse users. So I think that it's much more lightweight. This is the the, 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 the big deal of Glassfish. That's very good. So uh, yours is a consulting company. So do you plan to recommend uh, Glassfish to your users and customers? Sure, for sure. I think that Glassfish uh, V2 uh, and Glassfish V3 uh, is the next big thing about uh, Java EE. We have a JBoss market, but as I told you, we can see uh, companies migrate from JBoss uh, to Glassfish because it's faster, uh, you can have multiple Glassfish running. Actually, we, we have both running in the same server. Uh, Glassfish V3 we have as a testing server with the same server that we are running Glassfish V2.1. Uh, it was very, very easy. It's like a four uh, TCP IP ports that you need to change to run both. Uh, and it's amazing for us. Very cool. So, well, I hope you have a good, great Javali. Your talk was certainly very nice. Okay. And I will great. see you in Fizzly as well. Great. See you there. Thank you. <laughs>